Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. If you know, today I wanted to talk to you about my medication. Now I've taken psychiatric medication for a long time now. I've been on other meds that haven't worked. I've been on what I'm on now and that works fine. So I want to talk through my medication history. what I'm on now. Right now I take clonazepam 0.5 milligrams twice a day, trazodone 50 milligrams once a night, lithium 1000 milligrams at night, haloperidol 5 milligrams in the morning, 5 milligrams in the evening. I'm vortioxetine which is an antidepressant, I'm on 20 milligrams of that. And that's my psychomat. The two important ones there are lithium and haloperidol. Without them I'm in a hospital. Medication has easily saved my life. I can't function in society without my medication. I had to leave my lecture early yesterday because I was panicking. I was basically having a panic attack because we watched something that I considered triggering and I wasn't warned about it. So it just kicked off my PTSD, my anxiety issues. And I ended up leaving my lecture at half 11. It doesn't do finish until half one. Trigger warning to medication help. My medication is something that has been worked on for the last three years. I switched from quetiapine to haloperidol. Tiapine was making me binge eat a lot and I put on a lot of weight. I am still trying to lose it now. Let's start with antidepressants that I was on though. I've been on fluoroxetine, talipram, sertraline, metazapine, amitriptyline, venlafaxine, est Estesalatelegram, es es can't pronounce it. <laughs> so that's my antidepressant history. None of their medications work for me. They either sent me money or they made my depression work. Now I didn't know this until a few days ago when I read my care plan. I'm diagnosed with a depressive disorder, which would explain why I constantly get depressed. I don't just mean, oh I'm feeling sad today. I mean depression. And I kind of been in a bit of a dip recently. I'm trying my hardest to stay in the community. It's my birthday next month, which if you want to send me a card, DM me and I'll give you the address. I like cards. I'll put it on my wall. Need more decorations on the wall. Gotta cover the green. So they're antidepressants anyway. Let's move on to antipsychotic. Now I've been on quetiapine, alanzapine, aripiprazole, clozapine, and haloperidol, which are on now. The worst medication for me was clozapine. It didn't react well with me. It just made me feel so out of it. I couldn't I couldn't talk properly. So that was a bad medication. I'm not saying don't try it if you are offered to try it because it is a miracle drug for a lot of people. Just be wary of mixing it with other medications. Always talk to your specialist before changing medications. And then we have mood stabilizers. So I've only been on lamotrigine and lithium. Lithium I've taken now for over a year and I took it when I was younger. Lamotrigine gave me a rash. If you're interested in my lamotrigine journey there's a playlist which I'll put in the description down below and right up there for you to click on. First move on to benzodiazepines. <laughs> so I was originally put on diazepam, 5 milligrams or 2 milligrams, I can't remember. I ended up on 5 milligrams anyway and then 10 milligrams at night. Diazepam to me didn't do anything. It, it, it didn't help my anxiety, it didn't help keep me calm. It just made me really stiff and not sleepy. So I then I was put on to lorazepam, which I still have lorazepam PRN. It's a lifesaver for me. But I was on lorazepam four times a day and it worked really well. I was then in the hospital, I was then added clonazepam while taking the lorazepam. Clonazepam I've been on for five years. In my opinion it works really well for me. It slows my thoughts down very quickly when I take it. It does make me sleepy, which is the one bad thing about taking it midday. But medicated I'm doing alright. And now let's talk about sleeping tablets. So I've been on Zopiclone, Zolpidem, Promethazine. Currently I'm on none of them. I take Trazodone as a sleeping tablet. Trazodone is an antidepressant but it's used for sleep at lower doses. So that I'm on 50 milligrams I think. Yeah 50 milligrams. But sleeping tablet wise Zopiclone makes me hallucinate. <laughs> Promethazine 
ruined as fuck all. Zolpidem worked for the first week I was on it. I haven't had much luck with medication over the years, but I'm finally on a combination that works for me. And that's why I say to you, find a combination that works for you and makes it so you can function every day. Medication is not a quick fix. You have to give it a chance to build up in your system. I think they offer it on average they say it's three to six weeks for antidepressants to kick in. I can't remember where mine kicked in because I was high on drugs. <sighs> the legal kind, the prescription kind. I was in hospital. The best medication for me has been the lithium. The lithium has made it so I'm not suicidal, which is a benefit of lithium. It's, it's documented on medical journals and medical records that lithium can help with suicidal feelings. And it has for me. I don't know what I just do into my body, but I'm not losing weight very quickly. I don't know, I don't, I don't eat that much really. I don't eat lunch. I don't eat breakfast. I have a snack in the afternoon and then I eat a sandwich in the evening. And I like milkshakes. I don't even have any snacks in at the minute. Anyway, back on the topic of the video. Thank you for watching this video. If you are new, subscribe. And if you want to see more from me, follow my social media. So all links in the description down below. And if you really want to help me out, hit, head over to my Patreon. It's linked up there. And come join the fun. Join the family. Peace.